Hey, Killer Frogs, look what we got here. We got James McFarland, outstanding defensive end for the Horn Frogs. All right, look who we got here, Killer Frogs. Matt Jokel, the newest Horn Frog. Uh, other than our freshman, we've got actually a graduate of Texas A&M. Uh, hey, guys, we've got senior safety, Jeff Hooker. All right, guys, look who we got here today. Outstanding defensive end, big year coming up, we hope here, Terrell Latham. Look who we got, guys. Trayvon Boykin. Man, you know, you have been our man for the last couple years at quarterback, yes, and here we come. Junior year, it's already hit. Can you believe you're a junior already? Uh, I mean, yeah. Honestly, I've, I've, it's, it's gone by pretty fast, but um, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, we have got Big V here, and I do mean Big V. How big are you? I'm 6'7", 315. Okay, you're going to have to speak up a little bit like you're 6'7", okay. 315. Yeah, I mean, okay? okay? Now, I want you to pronounce this name for me. Well, my name is Halepola Vati Baisa, a.k.a. Okay. Big V. Wow. That's a lot of letters. Did, you, did your parents want to use the whole alphabet or what? Uh, hey, Frog fans, look who we got here. We got our new offensive coordinator slash quarterback coach, Sonny Cumbie. Hey, guys, look who we got here. Doug Meacham, our new offensive coordinator wide receiver specialist, uh, guru of the spread offense from Oklahoma State in Houston. Uh, how's it feel to be here? It's just, it's an uh, honor to be here with Coach Gary Patterson and TCU and just a phenomenal opportunity to be back home where I'm from. You know, You're an Arlington boy. Craft, that's right, Sam Houston High School. Well, who are you named after? I'm named after my uncle. Your uncle, okay. Great man, I guess. Oh yeah, he's a great man. All right, well that's a good deal. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you some pretty serious questions here, so you hang on, okay? Okay, you guys are getting ready for your first game mm -hmm. against the Cardinal at Sanford. And, you know, are you excited about that? Oh, I'm excited, and I'm, we're all excited going to go camp too. You know, okay. with the new offense and everything, so. So I, that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that at halftime they're gonna honor the first president of Sanford and, 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 his, uh, and his son, Sanford and son, that they're gonna honor them at halftime? Am I, am I surprised? Or? Yeah, yeah, Fred Sanford at halftime. And his son? No, I didn't. You didn't know that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, they're gonna do that. It's gonna be a big deal, but you won't get to see that. You'll be yeah, inside, right? Yeah. They're gonna honor at halftime the ex-president of, of Sanford University, whose name uh, Sanford and his son, Sanford and son, they're gonna get <laughs> Fred Sanford's going <laughs> What are you, what are you uh, laughing about? It's because I, I used to watch that TV you show. You used to watch that? Him and Lamont's gonna get, get recognized at halftime. Hey, right, well. Is I that mean, all right? You're uh, gonna miss that, though. Yeah, You're gonna, I'm gonna be miss inside. That because I'm gonna be trying to get my halftime adjustment. But that, that's pretty important <laughs> stuff. You're getting your hair ready, huh? <laughs> well, you got a big game coming up, the Cardinals of Sanford coming up. Do you know that uh, that's a big big game, and I'm sure you're going to get a lot of reps in that game. I know you got to be excited about it. Yeah, definitely really excited. Always excited for the first game of the season, and when we really jacked up for it. Well, that's great. And, and you know they're going to honor at halftime the first president of Sanford University, uh, Fred Sanford and son, you know, here, here, or you, does that anything mean anything to you? Or, you know, their legendary first president and his son, Sanford and son, is going to be here at halftime. Are, are you kind of excited about that? Oh, uh, I pretty, I, yeah, I won't be really paying attention because I'm going to be. You're so, going to be in the locker room. Yeah, you're going to be for the ball room, game, so. won't you? Absolutely. You got the Cardinal, Cardinal Samford coming in, the first deal. <laughs> what are you laughing about there? Oh, I wasn't sure that was their mascot. You know, you're the first one that's caught that today, really? Jeff. Yes, <laughs> you're the first one that's good. So I know if you're that on tack, you know about our halftime celebration yeah. that we're doing with Fred Sanford and son, the first, he's the first president of uh, Sanford University. They're gonna give us a nice concert at halftime? A nice concert, well, you know, I, I, you know things are a little different here, don't you, than they were at A&M. Uh, when we score here, we ring the frog horn. You don't turn around and kiss Trayvon when you score, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know we, that. You okay, you got that down? We're, yeah, we're not going to do that here, I right? never did any kissing at A&M, so. You never did any no, of that? No, I didn't do any of that. Well, you know, down at A&M, you know what they do when they score? The money. They no, the money. they turn to each other and kiss each other. So I want you to run from, from Matt. When you Make sure he's got it down. We just, you know, we just get excited and high five here. Right? Like, yeah. Like, 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 what do you mean? Kiss well, up in the stands, they all turn to each other and kiss each other down at A&M 
We can't do that here. No, yeah, we we, 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 we high five and we stuff. We TCU. Right? We gonna high five. We TCU. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we TCU. All we right. Go. It seems like it's it's becoming not Doug Meacham. It sounds like the Meacham and Cumby show. Yeah. You know that's what this seems like. And I know you knew you knew Sonny before you got here. Is that right? That's uh, right. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about y'all's relationship. Tell you, tell me a little bit about the history you guys. Well, have. really, kind of, you know, it starts with what they did offensively and what I've done in the past, and just being able to communicate. A lot of the, a lot of those same guys communicate with one another and uh, share ideas. Right. You know? uh, so just through that part of it, talking to Sonny about how they may do something here or there, how they train in summer or whatever. Uh, and then on the recruiting trail, you know, I saw him a bunch of recruiting. He's, he's right. such a really good recruiter and he's just such a good guy, such a good positive guy. Sonny, this is it. We're, you're here. It's, it's, it's time to get going now. Yeah, it is. It, it's, uh, you know, we got through spring ball. Um, right. Got the offense installed. We went through spring recruiting. We're through the summer camps. And now, um, really exciting right. um, to think we're going to start tomorrow on my first camp at, at TCU and with these quarterbacks and this offense and these guys on staff. And so um, I've learned a lot of football over the summer and, and learned a lot from Coach Patterson and Coach Meacham and excited to be around our players. Uh, are you aware of the new West Nile virus rule? No. You don't know about that? No, sir. If you get, if you get bit during practice, you've got to run down to the cry asylum jump in there and you got to stay there five minutes and freeze that mosquito bite right then. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did you, not know that. You didn't know about that? Uh, I, it's, it's a new rule in the Big 12. I just didn't know if you knew about that. Now, are you aware of the new Big 12 West Nile virus rule? No. Nope. You're not worried about it. If you get bit in practice, you've got to run down and jump in the cryo sauna within five minutes to be eligible for the next game. Really? Yeah, I you got to freeze yeah. that bite right then. <laughs> To make sure. Yeah, you, I haven't gotten in that thing you yet. Done that? Yeah. You, you need to work on your reps after yeah. practice. Okay, we can't afford to lose you in a game, okay, over a mosquito bite. Yeah. Okay, I'll, you got that? I won't risk that, yes, sir. Okay, if you get bit in practice and you get a mosquito bite in practice, you have got to sprint down to the cryosoma and get in there and freeze that bite within five minutes or you're not eligible for the next game. What are you going to do about that? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do it. If it You're gonna do it if it, it keeps you eligible. Yes. You're gonna run down there. Well, that's that's good. We don't want to see you at any ball game. <laughs> you, you're wearing this new West Nile virus mosquito rule, aren't you? Big Twelve. West if Nile. You, yeah, yeah. If you get bit in practice, you have got to run down to the cryosauna and jump in it in five minutes and freeze that bite, or you're not eligible for the next I don't year. Think, I don't. I don't. I don't think you can make five minutes in the cryosauna. <laughs> you can't make five. If, no, if you I, can't make five minutes, I, I, who's going to make there, it? Jordan in, Moore, Lister I, B. I get in there. I get in the cryosauna for no more than a minute and a half. No more than a minute and a half. No more than a minute and a half. Okay. If, well, maybe we can so fudge I, on the rules a little so, bit. If so, I'm in there. Yelling, screaming, crying, get me out. Something. You got quick recovery time, right? Yeah. As much as you got beat up last year, you better have good quick yeah, recovery so, time. So, I mean, right? I, I'm pretty much used to it. So, I mean, hopefully we take less injuries this year. All right. You know, Sonny, we got to do this. I want you to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Yes. Yeah. Say, I, Sonny Cumbie. I, Sonny Cumbie. Swear I'm sorry. I swear I'm sorry. That in 2004, I don't know if I, I know. Come on, I, come on. You, gotta, come on. Yeah. you just stay with yeah, me. That in 2004. That in 2004, mm -hmm. that I just beat the dog, you know what, out of you in front of all TCU fans that were visiting that day on behalf of my Texas Tech Red Raiders. Uh, that, I, that I beat the dog crap out of you. Okay, we got of kind of that, yeah. Frog fans. <laughs> this is real important, too. I've heard that you've. You've been said calling Trayvon, Trayvon Trayvon football a few times. I mean, we don't do that here either. You know, there's none of those kind of things. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, I got that too. Okay, I just want to make sure we're okay with all that. Okay, we got we got this new Aggie in here. He's trying to compete with you on the job. I know mm -hmm. that's all good. Everything's good for the team. Competition mm -hmm. is good and stuff. But I've got a little trouble with him that that I hear he's been calling you Trayvon football. Did you tell him no. that doesn't go on? That doesn't go on <laughs> down here. No. Just because Zoe competed with last time, went no, with that. They, Not to be calling you Trayvon football. Nah, they don't call me that. Uh, most people around here just call me Deuce. Uh, TCU's also got a big, big new sport this year called sand volleyball. The girls are going to be playing. <laughs> are you going to go watch any of the games? Gosh, I, I don't know. You uh, don't know? I guess if I get a chance, go out there and support them. Is that all? They just be out there to support them? Nothing to go watch at the athleticism of the event? Is that? I mean, I'm sure they. You know the volleyball team always seems to be good. So the sure volleyball. So you think? 
just well, you're do whatever a cool, I can. You're a my cool team. customer here. You know, you're a senior. After this year, it doesn't really matter what you say. You can go on about <laughs> your life. You know, we got sand volleyball coming this year. Really? Yeah, sand volleyball. Are you going to go watch? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, yes. you actually were real enthusiastic about that. Why would you want to go watch sand volleyball? I mean, it's, it sounds like a good sport to watch. I mean. Hey, I just just because of the athleticism. Yeah, yeah, actually, it is. Uh, it has nothing to do with the girls. Had nothing to do with the girls <laughs> at all. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure there. Okay, all right. I can see that. Yeah, I've, I've been to a bunch of TCU volleyball games when my sister played here. So oh, maybe really? I'd go to a so you already game. got in there? Oh. Yeah, I know all about the volleyball world. I just I haven't seen any sand volleyball games yet, though. But you think you'd like to go? I think that'd be interesting. You? Why would that be interesting? I don't know. Why not? Yeah, I went to like. Three or four of them last year. I think I'm, I'll go to more probably this year. You went to the regular volleyball, but this year they got sand volleyball. Yeah, you ever watch those girls? No, I have not. God, and, but you want to. Yeah, right? I, I'm, I plan on going to most of the games. And year. why would you want to go? Is it their athleticism? Yes, sir. That's what That's what it is? <laughs> um, if, if, we're, if we're not busy with football. Well, you won't be busy with football during mm -hmm. some of that. If it's not, I mean, that'd be something you'd be interested in at all? Uh, We'll see if, if it comes around because, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to see one tomorrow, but, you know, I have, you know, worry about school and stuff. So. Worry about school? Mm -hmm. So you don't have any any interest in girls I mean, saying volleyball? I mean, I, I do. I, I, I go watch them. You go watch them? Yeah. And I you do it just games. for the athleticism, right? Yeah, just to watch them, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, what would you smile about? Huh? What was that about? Didn't have anything to do with the girls themselves. Oh, no, no. I just, oh, okay. I just, I just like how they, you know, set All right. and spike. TCU's got a new sport this year, girls sand volleyball. Man, what do you think about that? I'll be there. You'll be there? <laughs> I'll be really? There. You know I'll me? be there. Well, I'll show up. I ain't going to say I'll, I'll show up to a couple of the games. But yeah, I first need to find out who's playing it. I, I'm not friends with any of the volleyball people. So, I mean, right. I, really, I really wouldn't know. When you wouldn't know, huh? Yeah. Is there any particular reason why you'd be there? No, not really. You're yeah, I mean, just well, there to support your university yeah, and to and, watch the athleticism? And, and, and no other reason? No, 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 no other reason. No. Okay, all right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. All right. You got, you know, I know you're on the defensive side of the ball, but, you know, you got some new coaches this year. You know, have you gotten to know Coach Meacham at all? Uh, Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy. I mean, I like him, but uh, – Honestly, he's still he's an offensive guy. It's hard yeah. to like those offensive guys, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It is. I mean, except on game day, you got to have those guys. You know, you got to have that. But during the week, you know, that's a that's a whole different deal. Well, were you aware, Coach Coach uh, Meacham was a stunt double for Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> He did for Saharan Dallas Buyers Club. He does that on the side. You didn't realize that? I did not know that. Oh, yeah. He was just a coach. Yeah, he used to be a, an offensive lineman, you know, like yourself. <laughs> I've never heard that before. You know, oh, it's not a hurt. I mean, it's true. You, you didn't watch Dallas Buyers Club or you didn't? <laughs> you, you got new coach Meacham here. Uh, how's that working out for you? It's working out great. They're definitely – he's a great coach and uh, learning a lot from him. Well, you know, Coach Meacham – he had another job, too, while he was doing football. And a lot of people don't know about this, but he actually did stunt work for Matthew McConaughey in Sahara and Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, yeah. Were you aware of that? Does that surprise you at all? That doesn't surprise me. He's definitely a – he's kind of got the Matthew McConaughey personality. He does, say. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does. All right, all right, all right. Uh, huh? Is yeah, that it? All right, okay, all right. I just want to make sure. You got a new coach this year, man. A couple yeah, of new coaches. A couple of them, a couple of them. Man, let's talk about one in particular here, Coach Meacham. Man. Man, what do you think about him? Um, he's an Arlington native. Right. Um, think he's hip. He's think he's hip. Think huh? he's hip. Yeah, he knows. Uh, he his, knows. His he knows hair, how to talk the. He knows his, how to talk the trash in the his, language. Yeah, you know? his hair, his hair. He's his a, hair. He's it's a, all. About, he's one of those guys. Well, that's who. That's why I'm getting to here, Trayvon. <laughs> he's one of those guys. Even Coach Cumbie is one of those. Coach Cumbie, huh? One of those guys. Really? Do you think Meacham had some influence on Cumbie a little bit, or you think Cumbie was already that way? I honestly think they. They they just came in together. They came like, in together, <laughs> really. It was crazy. It's they just, might have been brothers like they, separated yeah, at birth. They never knew. Cause, never knew. Because some of the stuff their their minds were on one accord. That's one of those strange, strange <laughs> things. I, I'll tell you. But I bet you didn't know this. Did you know that you know this is all fun for Coach Meacham. His real job is he's a stunt double for Matthew McConaughey. I believe you. You didn't believe that? Yeah, I believe you. I mean, you know he used to be an ex-offensive lineman, lost and all that's, that weight. That's crazy. Yeah, and so he did the Dallas Buyers Club. They had to somebody that could lose that kind of weight. <laughs> 
Can you believe he did that? Well, Coach Beach, man, I can believe anything. Did, did you watch Dallas Buyers Club or Sahara? You did not watch those, so you didn't see those finer points of, of, of how he was able to make that. That's how he's able to be here. TCU is able to afford him. He makes a lot more money as a stunt double. <laughs> so, any, you know, Coach Coach's going to see this, and he's going to see you laughing at his acting performance. He actually, he, I don't know what to say about that, Lamar. We're just going to go on. Right. In talking to some of the players, they say you and Meacham, are the cool coaches? <laughs> well, what's that, what's that mean? I Maybe, mean, they I said y'all just y'all yeah. just came in here together and brought coolness to this place. I mean, well. it's like the Fonz showed up or something. <laughs> that's I probably mean, with Meacham. That's he's, with Meacham, yeah, that's really. Meacham, Is he, yeah. he kind of yeah. more that way? Yeah. I kind of get that. He's got a lot of coolness to him. He's got yeah. that to him. Okay, yeah. you know, one of the things that's still common. I've been up here talking to the kids today, Doug, uh, and they talk about Coach Meacham, and they say Coach Meacham is. Cool. <laughs> what, what's that mean? They say you and Cumbie are cool. I mean, I, don't know. I, I told it to Coach Cumbie over It's like the the two Fonzes walked into town. What I don't, are, know. I don't you know. understand don't a, a young language, I, I, his, his kids' I, language? I, with I, it? I really can't answer that. You I can't just, answer no, that. No, ultimately, I got to be me. Sonny's got to be Sonny, and that's kind of what we're trying to do. All right. You, you know, <laughs> you've been on this team a while, and I know there's a lot of pretty boys on this team. You know, they. They look to get like <laughs> like to look good for their gals out there. Yeah. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe you're one of them. I don't know. No. Yeah. They no. wouldn't call you sweet or anything like no, that. No, they no, don't do that. The well, uh, which guy would be the first one to open a nail and beauty salon after they got out of school? <laughs> uh, honestly, I would say Jordan Moore. Jordan, Jordan Moore. Moore Why boy. Jordan Moore? He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty He's boy. A pretty boy. Yeah, do the yeah. Do the women like him? Yeah, the women like him. Wow. <laughs> I would have to say Jordan Moore. Jordan Moore again. Now, Latham, La Latham thought Jordan Moore. Oh, I'll say Jordan Moore. You'd say Jordan Moore, <laughs> I'll too? Say Jordan Moore. Jordan Moore. Ooh. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any of that. You haven't seen any of that? You're uh -huh. trying to keep a, a good level to it. You don't want to be barking on anybody early here. Huh? No, yeah. I we'll ask you that either. after the season, okay? Yeah, maybe All right, okay, hard. after the season. A nail and beauty shot. I would say it will have to be out of Jordan Moore and Cameron Lupin. Jordan Moore again. You know, Jordan's got a, n nearly every guy named Jordan Moore in here today. And now you threw Cameron Looper in that mix? Yeah. They're, they're both pretty boys, huh? Mm -hmm. do, do the girls like them? The girls, the girls love them. I tell you what, we appreciate you, Dave. We're looking for great things out of you this year. Thank you for your time. How about a big go frogs? Go frogs. Go frogs. Well, we appreciate you today, Big V. Thank you for your time and go frogs. Go frogs. All right. And how about a big go frog? Thank you. Go frogs. Go frogs. <laughs> hey, Trayvon, great to have you again. Right, have a great year. How about a big go frogs? Hey, go frogs. Go frogs. <laughs> okay, you. how about a go frogs on there? Go frogs. There we go. Well, I'll tell you, we do understand your allegiance to the Red Raiders. Uh, that is your, your alma mater, but we are glad we have you here at TCU. We know that uh, where your loyalty is as far as football is concerned mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, and, uh, and we're excited about you being here. Coach Patterson and and, and the kids have talked about what a great recruiter you are, how you've got a real touch uh, with the uh, State of Texas kids, and uh, we're, we're just tickled to death you're here. Well, I appreciate it, and, and the people of TCU, the fans, the alumni have been great. They've opened their arms to myself and my family and uh, made the transition as smooth as possible. And, and I'm excited to be here. I'm excited about tomorrow to start with all these players and get out there and to work with the kids because ultimately um, that's what it's about is being able to interact with the kids and, and uh, hopefully uh, attack this training camp. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, good luck. We wish nothing but the best for you this yeah, year. I Thank you, Coach it. Gumby. How yeah. about a go Thanks Frogs? A there go, frogs. go Frogs, there we go. So I've known you for a while, uh, Coach, and you know, a few things people don't know about you. One thing I want to talk about is is that they know, they didn't know, they just they didn't seem to know this, that you did stunt work for Matthew McConaughey. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, I saw you in Sahara. Now, you, one of the most things, most people are getting this now, you used, used to be an offensive lineman. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, and you're doing an injustice to guys like me Thank that you. we're not doing, you know, it's not – but they actually hired you at Dallas Buyers Club to do stunt work because your ability to lose weight <laughs> like you did to do stunt work. It's embarrassing. I don't even tell anybody I played a line because it's like, what? Don't, is, so, yeah. Well, not from the brain power, baby. <laughs> we're, we're the smart guys on the team. Isn't that right? There's no question. Okay, no question. That's it. Yeah. Hey, we're looking forward to this year, Coach Meacham. Uh, glad you're here. Glad your family's here. We welcome you. Like you said, you've been here now for a good six to eight months. And, uh, 
tickled now. We've got to have a great season. I know you're looking for a lot of great things to happen, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. We're excited. All right. How about a big Go Frogs, Coach? Go Frogs. Go Frogs.